Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to all of you. Today I was about to talk in uh, root chakra and all the characteristics associated with it but a few viewers have uh, requested if I can talk about uh, how this chakra analysis can be helpful or it can be used as a tool for the career guidelines. Now I'm sure many of you must be thinking how, how is it possible how chakra analysis can be used for uh, this purpose and uh, of course I understand that because uh, when we talk about chakra obviously we relate automatically with our health. But here I would like to emphasize that when you talk about health it is not only about our physical st uh, st status or how are we doing in our life with, it, with respect to uh, physical fitment. It is about our physical, mental and emotional well-being. And I'm sure many of you know, I mean rather we all know and we uh, many times we feel, feel that that when we are physically, mentally and emotionally very connected, we are in a better position to decide about ourselves. It is very, very important while we take decision, it is very important for us to understand what we want to do in our life, what are our skill set, what are we passionate about, what we really enjoy doing. If we are able to take into consideration all these aspects, then there is no look back. Nobody can stop you to go ahead with flying colors in your career life. Now, if I talk about how we are doing that, this is a very you know, intense calculation with you. I'm not going to talk about that. But what I would like to emphasize here again is, see, in, um, in our current situation, all of us are going through a very hectic schedule. We are, we are in a race, I must say. We are just in a race, so eventually we take a lot of stress. So if I talk about chakra analysis, and based on my experience, when we saw so many people, we have done so much of research, nobody will have a perfect balance of all chakra. Of course, when we analyze that, we see some imbalance, we give the remedies to maintain as much as possible balance to have a proper, uh, uh, th through all the seven chakras, proper balance. But nevertheless, everybody, every person in this world has a tendency or has an inclination towards one or two chakras. And based on that, it is, it is, uh, it, it is easy to calculate okay, what, what oh, this person is strong at or what are their skill set in terms of personality traits. Now, how, how is it possible? So, we have seven chakras, right? All these seven chakras are associated with a set of personality traits. And in turn, these personality traits are very, very important for particular areas in, the, in our particular job roles. So what we do is that we do an intense calculation based off a lot of procedures, which I'll talk about in the later part of this video. And based on this calculation, we recommend, we provide the guidelines of, to people that which career would, would, would suit them the best. So let's see how, how we can, how we'll use it based on each chakra. Let's talk about root chakra first. Now we all know root chakra is the foundation chakra and it is associated with spine, right? And this shows the trust, the ground, ground, how, how strongly grounded you are, a person is, that means it, it indicates a per person will be honest, trustworthy and very reliable. And if you talk about these personality traits, these are very, very important in medical uh, science in, in terms of the people who are uh, ha uh, having the, this, um, uh, you know, doctors who are taking this medical, uh, 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 taking the line of medical and becoming the doctors. They are very, very dedicated. They are most trustworthy than the counselor, psychiatrist, etc. So the people who are showing inclination or their root chakra is much more balanced, they have a tendency to, or rather they would do wonders if they go in these lines. 
so we do guide them accordingly second chakra is the sacral chakra and you all know as we discussed in our last video it is just above the uh, below the navel right and that is this particular sacral chakra is associated with the reproductive organ now very importantly and very interestingly it uh, it is uh, i would like to highlight is that this particular chakra is associated with all hormones right this is associated with uh, estrogen it is associated with testosterone and progesterone etc all these hormones acts in this particular sacral chakra is associated with that and these hormones if they are in in absolutely balanced state then the people having a balanced sacral chakra is seen to be stress free they are more ready to take the challenges they are not they are free from worries and very interestingly they are very very creative and these traits are very important for uh, people who want to take the um, career path in customer relationship customer services then they uh, they can be very good in sales and marketing and then pr and advertisement because there you need a lot of patience you need to be absolutely stress free and you need to be very creative the third chakra is our solar plexus chakra which we call a uh, belly of fire right and fire is absolutely related to the passion uh we say it fire in the belly i'm sorry and fire is absolutely as i said it is related to passion it drives a person to do the task which are more challenging and they are so adaptable with uh, uh, the changing situation that they are ready to go and achieve their target their goals with whatever situation is there so this is a sign of uh, this particular chakra is a sign of passion and the people who are having much more balanced uh, solar plexus chakra will do wonders if they opt the career related to say acting movie direction production then uh, music sound engineer etc so after third chakra is our uh, heart chakra and the na names itself uh, indicates that heart is associated with the relationship compassion the maintaining the relationship so the people in this um, uh, having a much more balanced heart chakra are uh, uh, they have got this ability to maintain a very good relationship and they are very compassionate they understand each and every person with their compassion and their uh, uh they are more uh, because they are they can really build a very good relationship so this this people who are having heart chakra in a much more balanced state they are very good at human resource services they are good at uh, social leaders they can be a uh, political leaders and if they go into this lines they will uh, they will really have a lot of success followed by this heart chakra is throat chakra and uh, as indicated by the name throat is uh, directly related to communication and this chakra is uh, the people are really uh, having a balanced throat chakra are really really good in communication they know how to communicate firmly effectively and meaningfully and this people are seen do really wonders if they have taken the a uh, career of uh, being an educator teacher professor counselor they are really really uh, they, they really do a lot of success they they really achieve a lot of success in this particular lines followed by that we have uh, third eye chakra third eye chakra is associated with uh, traits like more logical interpretation analysis based on the past experience and foresighting th thinking about the future accordingly in the our analysis we call them solution provider the people who are having a very balanced third eye chakra are best at technology engineering research and development scientist etc lastly is the crown chakra and the crown chakra 
very interestingly is known as um, captain of the ship because what it has the, the people who has a valence uh, crown chakra has the ability to uh, bring all the knowledge experience and learning together and in the position to give the direction so the people who are having a very very valence crown chakra are seen to be a great entrepreneur they do uh, they have their own company if they go for uh, establishing their own company they would really do well and they they are the many example are there and even we have some cases wherein the people who are having very balanced crown chakra are really great entrepreneurs so this is all about chakra and how we consider this chakras to show the career path the process i was talking about is a very very uh, long process and intense calculations are involved in this i cannot really discuss here uh, about this because it will be you will get very bored to hear all those te techniques but in um, uh, if i just brief that that we do a lot of discussion we have created a lot of uh, questionnaire on each and every uh, chakras and the people who are approaching us for this guideline uh, we discuss those questionnaire, uh, they answer it. We do a lot of analysis on that, this, uh, you know, statistical analysis, trend analysis, and do a lot of interpretation based on that. So I hope you have liked it. And uh, this is all about it. If you have any question you want to know any further, please give your suggestion comments in the below comment box. And uh, thank you so much for hearing. Stay safe and stay at home. Thank you.